I really love growing plants like herbs, like this um, sage and the basil and things that you can use um, often, rosemary, stuff like that. Um, so like, you know, this basil, which please don't judge, it really needs a good trim, um, but it smells divine. Um, it's very fragrant. You can use it all the time in many meals. Um, and I grew that, so that's kind of exciting. And then I also really love growing cucumbers because they are so tasty and they're so fun to grow and they're so easy to grow. Oh, there goes my dog in the pool. Um, hey, oh wait, call Bridger. Go call Bridger. Call him quick. And... Okay, call him quick. And... Bridger! We're currently... <laughs> we are okay so this is a tricky one because it depends on my mood um my truly like my all-time favorite book um is pony i think it's one of the most phenomenal books i've ever read in my life it is YA, but it is such a beautiful, powerful story, and the writing is some of the best writing I've ever, oh, ever read. Um, RJ Palacio's writing is just brilliant and beautiful, and I think that you could read it several, 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 over and over again, and it'll be different every time you'll find something new. So this one is truly one of my faves of all time. Um, anything Casey McQuiston, love Casey. Casey's are fun and um just like great get lost in a great story um also representative and i love a story where everyone can have a good time so casey's are also some of my faves uh sorry i'm like looking at my book's shelf you're all probably like what are you looking at um i am recently reading a court of thorns and roses and um, my best friend <laughs> told me to read it and i <laughs> I can hear you laughing <laughs> and I'm obsessed um that's what I do every night when Jared goes to sleep is I stay up and I read that um it's really good and I'm really excited for the next one so don't spoil it um <laughs> I'm blaming it on you Kelly um and 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 oh my god I'm on the spot okay and then there's so many good ones. And also, like, if I'm feeling, uh, like, inspired, nature-inspired, I really love, um, I love to think about planting a ranch and a garden and garden spaces. So I have all kinds of books about regenerative farming and nature um, that make me happy. There's a book Merle Sheldrake did about mushrooms called, uh, not Fantastic Fungi because it's Paul Stamets, but the world of fungi, something like that, that is really good. Um, anything like how to also in the garden. I am like such a nerd. I love like soil health and stuff, which is not necessarily like the most entertaining thing, but it is, it's good. I, um, Hamnet was really good. That's another great story. Um, I also love, it depends. Like sometimes there are books that you just like want to get lost and have a great time. And I'm probably, taking way too much of your time talking about this but there are some books that you just like want to read and have a great time like Catherine Center as well where you're just like I just want a really good story and then there's some where you want to learn about people like Ruth Ray Kell's Save Me the Plums which is a autobiographical super fun anyways uh long long run on hope that helps but I love me some books also poetry E.E. E. Cummings I mean come on